I just wanted to share with you a really quick video about um, setting powder. So for those of you who have purchased mascara makeup, um, as you know, it is a cream-based makeup. And for those of us that have oilier skin or may have oily um, skin in our T-zone, like a combination type skin, um, the thing with really any makeup here in Texas with it being so hot is that we can tend to sweat off our makeup or it may um, basically part. So um, since I had started using mascara makeup, which I absolutely love, I've tried a few different setting powders and wasn't really happy with um, the look of them. They definitely helped my makeup last longer and make sure that I didn't sweat the makeup off or get that like um, really oily look. But I didn't like the fact that it kind of looked like I was wearing powder because the whole idea of the cream makeup and mascara makeup that I really like is that I um, don't have a powdery look to my face. So um, I had heard a lot of really good things about this loose um, translucent setting powder. It's by Laura Mercier. Um, and it is about 30, I believe $35 for this. So uh, I had been avoiding buying it just because I didn't want to um, spend the money, but I got to a point where I was like, I'm gonna try this. And so I was actually online and I was getting ready to order it from Ulta and decided to just check eBay. Um, now we all know that eBay can sell knockoffs. It, there's no guarantee that this is the actual um, authentic product, but it was $7.88 and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try it and see what happens. The worst that can happen is I get a fake and it's eight bucks. So um, I got it in the mail a couple of days ago and I absolutely love it. And so I wanted to share it with you. Um, the write-up in the article for eBay said that a lot of them are like damages. So the seal was still uh, unbroken. This was unopened, but the box was definitely pretty banged up. And I think that's why um, they had to, to sell it, but you can kind of see the kinks in the box. But from everything that I've been able to see, um, it looks authentic. This, whether you buy this on eBay or you go to Ulta, this is absolutely awesome. You've gotta try it if you're wearing mascara makeup or any other kind of makeup and you use a setting powder and you've not tried this. Um, it is translucent, so one thing I wanted to tell you is because I have darker skin, I was really worried. They actually make two kinds now. Um, one is like a little bit darker color, and so I was worried about getting this because, of course, as you can see, it's very white looking, and so I read up on it and it is translucent, so it shouldn't actually show white on your face. And I decided to go ahead and get the white. And I am actually wearing it right now, so you can see um, what it looks like. But this has been a game changer for me and I wanted to share it with you. There's two ways that you can apply it. Actually, there's probably three, but I'll tell you the two ways that I've tried and I like. Um, so the first option is to use our mascara brush if you have the setting powder brush. It's got an angled tip here, and so basically you're just gonna tip this um, end into your powder. You'll get powder on here, and then you would press it on your face, okay? I do not put the um, powder where my contour and blush is, so I would just go around that and basically pat it all along here. And then you wanna let it sit for about five to 10 minutes. If possible, you don't have to, but if you do have oilier skin, it's called baking. And so that's really a good option to make sure that it sets in your face and in your pores is to let it sit there for about five or 10 minutes. And then you can brush off the extra with like your blush brush or any type of a fluffy brush. The other way to apply it, and this is my favorite, is a beauty blender. And this is just a beauty blender that I have. This is not the mascara one because I'm using it for setting powder. But um, I dip a dry um, beauty blender into the powder and then again, just press it on my face. Um, for the most part, it presses right in. And then like I said, if you have the op option to be able to wait about five or 10 minutes and then dust off any extra with like a fluffy um, blush type uh, brush, then that's gonna that's gonna be even better but i wanted to share this with you it really helps your makeup not sweat off if you're going to be out in the heat or the humidity um, and again if you have oily skin this really absorbs the oil so for me because i have pretty oily skin i do put it all over except for where i have my blush and my contour if you had like say combination skin and you notice like more your nose and your t-zone area get oily then i would just say you know just try the setting powder in those areas but um, it's really light, it's got talc in it, so it's very, very light feeling, does not feel or look like you're wearing powder. And again, for me, that was a game changer because I um, do not like the look of powder. I don't like the way powder sets into the lines on my eyes. 
um, or my face. And so if I'm wearing cream makeup and then putting powder over it, it's not um, gonna give the effect that I wanted. So I had tried a couple of other setting powders um, that you can just get across the counter that were about $10 or under, um, thinking that I was saving money and actually I'm really, uh, I really wish that I had just gone with this from the beginning. So again, it's Laura Mercier. Um, if you decide you wanna try it on eBay, feel free to send me a message and I can send you a link to the per person that I actually purchased it from because there's a couple different options on there. Um, again, this could be fake, but it looks authentic to me. It feels authentic um, and I, I'm pretty convinced it's the real deal. The other option that you can do is if you don't wanna spend the money on it right away, you can go to Sephora and you can ask them for a sample of it um, and hopefully they'll give you a, a good enough amount that you can really put it all over your face. But again, this will lengthen the amount of time of your makeup, um, absorb any oils and just gives it a really nice, smooth and flawless finish. And so please message me if you have any questions. I hope that was helpful and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.